Tumamak's namesake plant, the Tumamak globe berry. Plants endure aridity in many ways. Cacti store water in their stems, agaves use their leaves, and deep-rooted mesquites reach water far underground. Others have a more drastic solution. They patiently wait underground. These geophytes, literally earth plants, have a fleshy underground structure that sustains them the majority of the year. For brief periods, the plant develops leaves, flowers, and fruits, which rise above the soil, drawing resources from their below-ground storage organ. They then die back, leaving only the thick, fleshy root hidden underground, waiting for next year's summer rains. One such plant occurs here at Tumamak Hill, where it was identified as a species new to science in 1912. The Desert Laboratory's first director, Dr. D.T. McDougall, noted the above-ground growth of a curious little cucurbit which grew over the low bushes around the desert laboratory. A cucurbit is a member of the plant family that includes cucumbers and melons. He made collections of the plant's leaves, flowers, and fruits and sent them to a botanical expert at the National Museum in Washington, D.C. The specimens were confirmed as unique and given a scientific name, Tumamoka macdougalii. Tumamoka for its first location on the science, and MacDougall-E in recognition of the keen-eyed Dr. MacDougall. This species is also fascinating because it is naturally scarce. Unlike Palo Verdes or mesquites, which are common throughout their ranges, the Tumamoc globe berry only occurs in small pockets of a couple hundred plants per population. The different populations are widely scattered throughout the plant's range, which extends south almost into Sinaloa, Mexico, and northward through central Sonora to south-central Arizona. No one knows why the plant occurs in some places, but not in others. And although it is scarce, its population appears stable. In the summer months, be on the lookout for red, marble-sized fruits attached to a vine with highly divided dark green leaves and tiny white flowers. You may be seeing one of the Sonoran Desert's rarest plants in a namesake of Tumamak Hill.